what's up? Welcome to Wing Commander 2, Special Operations 2. Second expansion pack released for Wing Commander 2. This will be the next set of videos that you're going to see here on the channel on the Thursday schedule. So what makes Special Operations 2 special? Well, it uses the same mission structure as the first expansion pack. Uh, four systems, five possible missions each for a total of 20 missions. Just like in Special Operations 1, the first mission is often, but not always, going to be the most difficult in the sequence because it's a second chance kind of fallback thing if you failed the win condition earlier in the system. Fail that fifth mission and it's game over. Released the year after Wing Commander 2, Special Operations 2 brings back a few familiar faces and it introduces a new fighter. This time we get to meet the F-95 Morningstar, a sort of saber replacement. Um, it's jump capable, as fast as a saber, maneuverable, and armed with three particle cannons, two IMREC missiles, two torpedoes, and this weird mace missile that, yeah, okay, look, it's basically a manually detonated dumb fire with a nuclear warhead. I'm not saying it's useless, but in all the times I've played this game, I haven't had a lot of success with it. We'll also see this concept come back around in a later game, but we'll leave that for later. Let's just say it's a very specific use case. Anyway, over the next few months, I hope you'll join me for this playthrough. It's the last mainline Wing Commander game before they all made the big shift to full motion video and actors. But there's still Wing Commander Academy and Privateer to get through before we get to that point. But starting next week, back in the 27th century, and uh, Blue Hair is back once again. So, hope to see you there. So him, him, f him, what a way to go. But at least he's not jamming up the f***ing radio. Is he blind or did he split? I don't give a f And it's all the more glory for me.